For the first time, the Russian Defense Ministry has named the Leningrad region among the regions hit by drone attacks on Friday night. Until now, Skov region was officially named as the northernmost and farthest point from Ukraine. Both Ukrainian and Russian sources name an oil terminal as the target. Why is a drone attack on the Leningrad region serious? The Russian Defense Ministry's overnight statement referred to a single kamikaze drone, but Russian media reports suggest that there could have been several drones. The BBC could not immediately confirm these reports. The Defense Ministry's statement was as follows. On-duty air defense means destroyed one drone over the territory of the Moscow region, and one was intercepted over the territory of the Leningrad region. At the same time, witnesses reported the sounds of explosions, which could indicate that the drone in the Leningrad region was trying to shoot down rather than intercept the air defense system. In the morning, Ukrainian media, citing anonymous sources, reported that several Ukrainian drones attacked an oil depot in the Leningrad region on the night of January 19. Ukrainska Pravda and RBC Ukraine called it a special operation of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry's main intelligence directorate. Data collection continues, there is confirmation of hits on targets. From now on, military facilities in St. Petersburg and the Leningrad region are within the range of Ukrainian forces, the Ukrainian Pravda interlocutor said. Unexpectedly quickly the information about the attack on the St. Petersburg oil terminal was confirmed by its owner Mikhail Skijin. From the pages of the Commerçant newspaper, he thanked the Defense Ministry and Russian President Vladimir Putin personally for the work of the Air Defense Forces in intercepting the drone. This made it possible to prevent a monstrous catastrophe, the result of which could have had terrible consequences, human casualties, gigantic ecological damage to the Baltic. Once again I express my gratitude to the armed forces of our country, their leadership, this is a brilliant job, the co-owner of the oil depot said in a statement. From the Ukrainian border to St. Petersburg is a huge distance, about 900 kilometers. So far, drones have flown this far north only once before in late August, when an attack on the Skov airport caught fire on Il-76 military transport planes. From Skov to the Ukrainian border in a straight line, via Belarus, is about 700 kilometers. Kirill Budinov, head of the GUR, claimed responsibility for the strike on the Skov airfield, co-located, i.e. used by the military. He claimed that the drones were launched from Russian territory. At the same time, President Volodymyr Zelensky, without going into details, spoke about the successful use of Ukrainian long-range weapons, the target was hit 700 kilometers away.